I helped this player hit his first home run ever. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three tips that I shared with him to help him increase his power. And if you watch until the end, it'll help you increase your power too. And just so you know, I'm not making anything up. Here's what his mom had to say. My son is a sophomore in high school and within one week of working with Jermaine, he started hitting line drives. He went from batting 110 to 360 and finishing the season with the home run over the fence. First ever home run. He also got moved up to varsity for the state playoffs. No words can express the amount of confidence Jermaine has given my son. We send Jermaine videos of his at-bats in games and we get a response immediately with simple things that need to be tweaked. We have tried other programs and nothing worked. This is worth every penny and more. And what they are talking about is my online coaching program. So with that being said, let's get into the content. And if you're new here, I'm former MLB player Jermaine Curtis, and I help players play to their full potential so they can stand out from the pack. And for a limited time, I am breaking down swings, which means I will review your swing, tell you exactly what you need to do to hit for more consistency or more power. And I'm doing this for a very limited time. So if you're interested, the link is in the description or in the comment section. So take advantage while you can. So the first tip I shared with them was what I learned when I played triple A baseball with the Cincinnati Reds. At that time, I was hitting 300, which means I was doing pretty well, but my power numbers were very, very down. So the GM had a conversation with me about hitting for more power. And I started to look at things differently because I was like, what I'm doing obviously isn't getting the attention of the people who are running these organizations. So I have to make a change. So I was looking for every little thing that I could could and then there was one day where i seen one of my teammate teammates pull out a notebook and he started to write stuff down and i seen him do this and i was like what is he doing and i started talking to him and he started telling me how he was able to make adjustments quicker because he was able to write down things that was happening in the games and so i started to think about that for a second i was like all right i'm gonna give that a try and what i did was i started writing down everything i started writing down my drills i started writing down the counts that I was hitting I started writing it all down okay and what I noticed was that certain counts I was having more success and then what I also noticed is that certain zones I was having more success in and so this right here was a light bulb that went off because the pitches that I was having the most success with I was able to see my uh, success and then I teamed that up with also uh, all the data that the Cincinnati Reds had and they showed me exactly what I had written down in my notebook so that changed my entire approach at the plate and allowed me to get more results so it's something that I highly recommend you guys do is that you start jotting down things in a notebook to realize where are you having your success and once you learn your hot zones is what I call them then you can focus on your hot zones and then that's where you're going to increase your chances of hitting for more extra base hits and more power and that's what I shared with him I said we need to find your hot zones and so he, when he goes up to the plate early in the count he's looking for a pitch in a specific uh, spot and if it's not there he's not swinging but when it's there he swings it's not it doesn't matter if it's a curveball it doesn't matter if it's a slider it doesn't matter what the pitch is if it goes into his box and you can imagine a MLB the show box right if it goes into his box, he takes a hack at it, and that's going to allow him to be more uh, to do more damage. And this pitch right here went into his box and he took his a swing on it. And that's the reason why he was able to drive this ball over the fence. Now, the next tip I shared with them, I had to learn the hard way. And what I mean specifically is that I went up to the plate and I was trying to pull the ball over the fence, right? I was trying to drive it to left field over the left fielder's head um, and over the fence. I wanted to hit more home runs. I wanted to drive the baseball. So what naturally happened was it didn't go that way. What happened was I went up to the plate and my mechanics broke down. And next thing you know, I'm rolling over the ball. I'm lunging, I'm swinging and missing. I'm swinging and missing sliders, but like three feet. And I started striking out and hitting a lot of ground balls. And I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And then 
I had a conversation with the player who was leading our team in home runs. And when I watched his BP, everything he was hitting was to the opposite field. And he was not just slapping the ball to the opposite field. He was driving it. His goal was to hit it in the gap and hit the top of the fence at the opposite field gap. And I had a conversation with him. He goes, if I continue with that swing and just catch it out front, it's a home run to the pool side. And so I started playing around with that, started hitting more balls in the air to the opposite field, not fly balls, but uh, well-driven balls, right? To the opposite field. And then what I started to notice was he was right. When I did click it out front, my balls were going uh, pool side over the left fielder's head right i wasn't forcing it it was happening because my bat path allowed me to do that and it's the same thing with this swing if you see right here you can see how he takes his swing he's working to the opposite field okay this is not the pitch but you can see right here he's working to the opposite field and then he just catches it out front right you see how he stays inside okay he works inside the baseball and he just catches it out front. And since he caught it out front the right way, he's able to drive it for a home run. So that's what we started to work on was working over the shortstop's head. And then as he's in his hitters counts, he's looking for the pitch that he's looking for. And if he just catches it out front, it's a home run. Now, the last tip I share with him is something that we all been through as a player, and I'm sure you're going through it as a dad or a coach as well. But whenever we're not getting results, we assume that it's our hitting mechanics, right? And I remember that as a player, it's like, I'm looking on the video to see what's going on with my hitting mechanics, right? And what I shared with him was his hitting mechanics were good and he could hit for power, but what he needed to work on was his timing. We always forget that timing is super important. T timing would break down your swing if you're not on time. So what we did was we focused on getting him more on time. I gave him a system that I learned at UCLA to help him and it really gave him a framework that he could take up to the plate to get himself more on time and be ready for that pitch that he's looking for in that zone. Take that swing that he's been working on to the opposite field gap and be able to get the barrel there and then drive that baseball. And it really all came together so that he's able to hit his first home run ever. So with that being said, I appreciate you watching all the way into the end. Let me know if you enjoyed this and if this was helpful. And also let me know what's your biggest takeaway from this video and go ahead and comment below. And for a very limited time, I'm breaking down swings. So if you're interested in that, take advantage of it before it's too late. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.